Okay, let's talk about our next project. So as we're studying waves, we're going to be doing a project called the Wave Art Project. Um, this is a tradition um, for springtime in eighth grade science. It's something we do every year. Um, we're going to try to keep it pretty simple this year just because it's been kind of an odd year, um, but we're still going to do this project and I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, if you look at these pictures right here, these are just some examples from students I've had in the past um, that they found a piece of art that they really enjoyed that was fun for them. And then they showed a um, concept about waves in that piece of art. Okay, so here is a overview of the project. So first of all, um, what is a wave? Um, are there other types of waves besides water waves? Um, I think I'd mentioned that earlier this week is that when most people think of waves, they kind of think of like water waves or somebody like waving their hand goodbye. Um, and in science, there's actually a lot of type, other different types of waves that um, are a huge part of your life. And so um, there are many other types. Um, something else you're kind of kind of want to start thinking about is um, what are their characteristics and properties? How do waves behave? Um, and how is information transmitted through waves? Those are things that we'll talk about. We'll gather information about together as a class um, and we'll we'll hopefully by the end of this project have a better understanding of those. So those are some of our key concepts. Um, during this project, your goal is to figure out the answer to these questions. Um, those ones that we just went over and to show your understanding of one wave concept by creating a piece of art and you get to pick that wave concept. So we're obviously going to be studying all those um, first questions I mentioned, but then you get to kind of hone in on one specific wave concept that you want to learn more about that would be fun for you. And then you get to pick a piece of art to create to show your understanding of that concept. Our driving question, um, kind of like our our main goal or purpose for this um, says, <coughs> excuse me, how can I use art to show what I understand about waves? So I want you to kind of have that in the back of your mind. How can we connect art and science? And how can we use art to show what you understand about the science con concept um, of waves? Okay, next is the why. Why are we doing this? Whether you realize it or not, waves are actually a big part of your everyday life. They are literally everywhere. Um, and you'll get a better understanding of that as we learn about this. Waves also transfer energy in many different forms, such as sound and light, which are a huge part of your life and my life and everyone's life. And so it's really important that we understand, well, how do waves work and how does sound travel and how does light travel and how do we see it? Um, and all of those big concepts, because it is such an integral part to our everyday life. The other reason we're doing this is because art and science are often seen um, as opposites or as subjects in school that don't really have much in common. I think sometimes people can think of art as like more abstract and free flowing, and then science is more kind of rule based or more methodical. Um, and hopefully during this project, you will see that art and science are actually really um, connected. They actually have a lot in common and art is actually a really great way to show your understanding of science. The two are actually a really good combination. Here is a project outline. So we're going to be working on this for the next five weeks. Um, this is the week that we're on right here. We're doing an introduction to the project and just to waves this week. And every week you'll have like a checkpoint um, or something to work on until week five when you're going to be submitting and sharing and turning in your piece of art. So we'll take it chunk by chunk. I've made it super simple um, and basic. Most of the things we'll do in class, studying about waves. The only thing you'll need to be doing at home is um, creating your piece of art. So next week is gonna be you picking your wave concept and researching it. The week after that will be you brainstorming and picking your type of art. What is something that's fun for you that you would like to create? Um, then you're going to make a plan and create your piece of art. And then the last week is writing something called an artist statement. I'll tell you all about that when we get there. And then you're going to be sharing your art with the class. Okay, here's some ideas. So one of the parts that's kind of the sometimes is the most uh, difficult part is just brainstorming and coming up with an idea because it's so open ended. So you get to pick really any concept about waves that you think would be interesting. 
And then you can pick pretty much any type of art that you want to create. So I want you to kind of look through this list. There's tons of different things with waves that you can study and pick. And if there's something that you're interested in that isn't on here, I'm sure there's more ideas, but you could focus on energy of a wave, something called refraction, um, reflection, transmission. Those are how waves absorb um, diffraction. There's parts of a wave like the crest, the trough, um, oscillation, equilibrium, there's sound waves, there's light waves, there's the electromagnetic spectrum, there's gravitational waves, there's black holes, um, there's longitudinal and transverse waves, there's amplitude, frequency, wave like compression, rarefaction, disturbance, there's color, um, interference, there's two different types, constructive and deconstructive, there's optics, and oh my goodness, the list could go on and on and on. But hopefully that just kind of gives you a general idea of some things that you could pick. You're just gonna pick one, okay? Each person's gonna pick one concept to study about waves. And then for art, you're, I want you to kind of start thinking, you don't have to have it figured out yet, but start thinking about um, an art idea that might be fun for you so that you could show your science understanding in. So you could show your wave concept through dance or photography. Maybe you create a sculpture out of cardboard or Play-Doh or Legos, yarn, random things you find around your house. You could do a drawing, um, a painting. You could make a video. You could do some kind of coding and create a website. Um, you could do a collage, poetry. Um, there's digital art you can do. You could do cooking or baking. Um, I've had people in the past make jewelry, interior design, um, trash art. Trash art is kind of like finding recycled items um, and things that you would normally throw away, but turning it into something really cool. Um, fashion design. I've had people, I think in the past, I think last year, somebody kind of like created like a t-shirt design that had to do with their wave concept. Um, music, I've had people in orchestra and in band actually um, write and perform pieces of music that had to do with waves and their concept acting, um, tons and tons of ideas. And there's more than that, but those are just some to kind of get you thinking. The only thing that we're not going to do is we're not going to do any Google slides or PowerPoints or posters. Um, those three are all things that you have probably done often um, in other classes. It's something you've been, you've done before. And I want you to kind of think more outside of the box this time around and do something different that you have never done um, for a class project before. So what is art? So when I say that you're going to be creating a piece of art, let's talk about what that means. So when I think of art, I think of art as any way that you express yourself. So literally any way that you express yourself. So for this project, I want you to pick one way that you enjoy expressing yourself. Um, and I want you to make sure that it's fun for you. This should be an enjoyable project where you're learning about waves and then creating something or designing something that is really enjoyable for you. I want you to try to think outside the box and be creative um, and maybe do something you've never done before. So a couple examples are, are you a person who loves TikTok? You could create a TikTok video or dance to show your wave concept. Um, do you love to bake? I've had people in the past bake a cake and on their cake, they use the frosting to show different parts of a wave, like the amplitude or the wavelength. Um, or the equilibrium. So that just kind of gives you a couple ideas. I have people in the past who have loved sports and they have done videos um, connected to their sports and how their sports are showing them playing the sport and how that connects to their wave concept. Um, here's some examples. So we had somebody create um, a model using kind of a computer-based system right here. We had somebody do trash art with um, recycled pop cans. We had somebody bake cookies. We had somebody make a piece of art. I think it was jello. And then they put um, they had some other stuff to go with it. This person right here used um, nuts and screws and bolts and different things and wires they found in their garage to create a sculpture. Um, this person created a sculpture with some music items. This person used some, some uh, I think those are kebab sticks and beads to create a model of a wave. Um, this person performed and created a piece of music that showed different parts of a wave. And then this person did a painting. So hopefully, again, that just gives you some more ideas. There's lots of different options. These are just some of them. And then the last thing I want to discuss or just kind of give you a brief overview is the rubric um, so that you know what's expected of you and how you're graded. Um, you don't have to turn in your piece of art until the very end of the project. 
um, during that last fifth week, but every week we're kind of going to be slowly kind of chunking it up and getting pieces of it done. So when we take a look at your art, when the whole thing's done, um, if you look at the level three box, here's what we're looking for. We're looking for a piece of art that focuses on your wave concept, um, uses accurate information and shows that you truly do understand your concept. So if you picked um, refraction, your piece of art should really show that you do understand um, refraction. Uh, the next one says uniqueness. So you've added kind of your own personality and your own personal touch to it. So the piece of art should kind of represent you and things that you like and enjoy. Um, it shows your best effort. So you have put thought and energy into your piece of art. Um, you have to have your artist statement done. We'll talk more about that later. And then you're going to be sharing your art and your artist statement with classmates on Friday, May 21st. Um, and that is like the absolute latest deadline. Any late submissions will not receive higher than a level two. Um, it's really important that you do get this project done on time. And then you can see the rankings for the level two and the level one. Um, for the level four, you're going to try to connect your wave concept to LIGO. We'll, we'll talk about LIGO um, a little bit later, but I think I had mentioned it earlier this week that LIGO um, is a site out at Hanford and it is a group of famous scientists who are studying gravitational waves. Normally we take a field trip out there, but we um, just can't do that this year. And so I'm gonna give you an opportunity to watch some videos and to learn about them. And if you can really show how what the scientists out at LIGO are doing with gravitational waves, how that connects with your wave concept um, in your artist statement, that's how you're gonna go to that um, advanced level, to that level four above and beyond and really showing that you can connect your concept to a real life application like LIGO who are scientists who right now are getting paid, you know, to study waves and that is a part of their job. So that is the rubric. Um, that is a quick overview of the project. Um, I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with this year and um, we'll chunk it. Like I said earlier, we'll chunk it week by week um, so that it's not overwhelming. We'll just take it one step at a time until we get um, everything done.